Hi, this is Marie Overton with Overton Fancies, and I am going to show you how I make my nostrils inside my dragons today. Um, this is, uh, it's Echo the Air Dragon is the pattern that I'm going off of. You can see already that I've got the little pocket for the mouth here. Um, I'm doing them in different colors so that it's a little bit easier to see the different sections on the video. Um, but you can see how that just left a little lip there. So I'm working on 10A right now, but you know, this same technique, I use it in other patterns as well. Um, and so in this row, the first thing we have to do is get to that middle section. Now I'm sorry, I, I'm gonna do this in real time, so it'll take a little bit longer, um, but if you need to go to settings and increase the speed just so that you don't have to watch it for so long, you can do that if you want to. So let's see. We're, so we do two double crochet in one. Oh, additionally, I'm only using one, uh, one yarn for the tutorial. But um, generally speaking, I use two together at the same time. So, okay. So I've got the increase, I've got the five double crochet, and then I'm gonna do four half double crochet. I think this is really fun technique because it, it gives you the feeling that um, that it's actually a dragon, that it was kind of like born or shaped that way. I don't know, it's kind of kind of neat, I think. So then we're gonna do 11 singles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, That's my son's watch. He um, he always forgets to shut it off. All right, so you've got the 11, which gets you just about to the center there. And then you do one single crochet, or single stitch, chain and turn. You're gonna skip that slip stitch, um, and you're gonna do one single crochet. I think I misspoke and said, yeah, anyway, it's a slip stitch, okay, so. You do the one single crochet, the three half double. Two and three. And then after those three, you're going to do um, two chain and turn. And then you're gonna go back into that little section that you just made, that little wedge. You're going to do another three, one, two, and three. You're going to do a single crochet. And then you're going to slip stitch right around that chain that you had right there. And chain and turn. And then you're gonna skip the slip stitch again. Do one single crochet, three half double. Two chain and turn. You're gonna do it one more time here. One and two and three. Do the single. And then this time you're actually going to do a single crochet around the chain that you had put in there. Okay. 
and uh, and then you're going to go down at the base level again and do one single crochet. Now you just want to fasten that off. And so this is the first half. You can kind of see it makes a little wedge shape and when it folds over, that's what's gonna make your little pocket, okay? So in order to make it a mirror image, we've gotta go and work on the other side. So essentially it's like skipping 22 and starting from this end. All right. So when I start with another one, I just do, um, do a little stitch around right there. And then I go ahead and start doing my, um, let's see, how did, how did I have you guys do it? Um, okay, so do two chain, actually, is how I had you guys do this one. So take that back, so two chain. That gets you up to that same level that you're gonna need to, to be at because of the double crochets. It's a little different when I'm doing it single. So, so one and two. Okay, and then the five. Sorry about the paint on my hands. I've been redoing some chairs for my front porch. And it doesn't seem to matter how much you scrub. It likes to stay on there for a little while. Okay, so there's the five double crochet. And then I'm going to go into the four half doubles. And then 11 single. I'm going to do one slip stitch and chain and turn. So this is where we're putting in that matching um, nostril. So you'll do, you'll skip the slip stitch and you'll put in one single crochet and then you'll do three half doubles. two chains and turn, one, two, three, one single, and then you'll do one slip stitch around the chain from below. Skip that, do one single, do your three halves, catching on the row below, two chain and turn. So this is your last bit at the top of the nostril there. So one, two, three, single. Okay, and so for this one, um, 
And at the end of that, you're gonna do one single into the chain below instead of the slip stitch, just like we did the other side. Okay, and then, um, and then you're gonna go ahead and just um, fasten it off, okay? Uh, let me make sure that I didn't miss anything. Okay. Yeah, so that's gonna be it. So that's the second half. And then you've got your first half there. So you can see it's kind of equal there. Okay, so then you need to go back for step number 11 for this pattern. And you're going to start from the end. I'm actually gonna do this with the green just so that you can see a little bit better. So, Working from the inside. Go ahead and do your two chains. And then two double crochets. Five in a row. Okay, and then you're going to do five half double crochets. Oh, my little guy's coming down. He's interested in what we're doing. It's hard to find enough time to do a video without somebody um, coming and joining us. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue. Okay. So there you've got five double crochet, five half double crochet. And then you want to just do five single. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and now this is where it's just a little bit tricky. This is why I wanted to get a video of it for you. Um, you know, there's just uh, you know, it's wonky stuff, kind of kind of hard to wrap your head around. Um, so what you want to do is you fold this nostril piece in half. So you see the wedge shape, the triangle. So you go ahead and fold it in half. And you want to single crochet through this back corner and your next stitch together at the same time. And hopefully with the two different colors, it'll make it so much easier for you to see. Okay, so I've got it through that back corner and and I've got it through that stitch. See that? And then, oh, lost it. Okay, so then you've got it right there. So next, um, you're gonna go through, uh, let's see how many times we're gonna do that. Okay, so the back corner and then the next through the double thickness and the next stitch. Okay, so we're gonna do that twice. Just that first time was just on the corner. Okay, so at the very edge of that wedge and in the corner here. All right, 
And now you're just gonna go, you can see that that kind of made a pocket there. Now you're just gonna go along the very top of that nostril, okay, of the wedge, which is nice because it's just kind of normal. It's weirder when you have to go through the side. Um, so along the top of the nostril, um, you're gonna go ahead and do 11. So, sorry, I'm pulling it too far. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, and then six was that one that was down below. And then you're gonna go over to this other side. Sometimes what I want to, what I do is I'll throw like an extra little stitch down at the base just to kind of hold everything together. I don't actually do a full stitch. I just kind of do it that and then, and then I'll grab at the top here in the same stitch, just crocheting them together, keeping it nice and tight. Then you don't have too big of a gap down there. And then just kind of continue here. So that would have been uh, seven, so eight, nine, 10, and 11. And then you've got to fold that again. And this time you're going from the other side, okay? So it says, uh, Let's see, so fold the second piece in half and then single crochet through the side of the nostril. Um, and then the next stitch in the row. And then just in the corner there. Okay. And then you just continue down the end of the row. I'm not gonna do that because I'm not gonna make you watch, watch it. But you can see that then when you turn it right side out, you have these little pockets for nostrils. And you could do them deeper if you wanted to. You can do them separate colors or the same colors. It's totally up to you. I just did it the separate colors so that you could see the difference. And you can kind of see from the inside how it does that. So anyways, that's all. If you have any questions, let me know.